Alright, so we're back with another video. What I'm gonna be doing today is helping you guys out with a PvP hack. I might do this for a lot of videos because I just want to help a lot of people out, you know, um, after grinding and everything like that, I know some of you guys want to just get better at PvP. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really, really, really easy way to get 200k super, super fast. You don't need much for this, but there's a lot of ways to do this. You're going to need Ember Rising. This is a sub ability, which is the second row and the second to last. It's called Ember Rising with a 15 cooldown. I usually put this on my G because I like it to be near where uh, my WASD is as it's like a priority move because when I have the chance to use it, I'm going to be able to use it. Now, the second thing that you need is a stun that enables the person to be completely still. What this basically means is like with regular Genjutsu, which is a stun, you can like kind of move around, you know? If I were to hit you, you're going to get knocked back. But you need a stun where you're going to be completely standing still an example of this type of stun is water prison this is an elemental which means it can go to your elemental slot if you don't want to take anything from your kiki genkai or anything like that um you want to put it in your elemental slot so you guys can see right here they actually buff this this you know requires a lot of hand signs but you guys see right here they get stuck in the water prison and they basically cannot move another example of this stun as well is the uh, uh sand coffin basically if i hit someone you guys can see right here, they get put in a sand coffin and they literally cannot move. Even though they're going up, they are perfectly standing still. You can also use stuns such as uh, the counter right here, which is Obito. It basically enables the person to be perfectly stunned. So I'm going to go use my counter. There we go. And he gets perfectly stunned right there. If I hit him, he's not going to get knocked back. He's going to be staying in that place. If you guys are wondering, yes, Time Stop also works on this. But what Time Stop does is that it messes with auto track. So you don't really necessarily want to do it unless you have a teammate. Atomic Box also works as well. That was... Uh, I love having Atomic Box as one of my kits or my moves in CC because this is where I can do 200k very very easily. So now this is where I combine the two. You have Ember Rising and you have a stun that enables the person to be perfectly still. I myself won't use Water Prison but let's just say that because it's really really easy to hit on logs. What you want to do is you hit the Water Prison and then use Ember Rising. Regular Ember Rising does about 70k. But since they are perfectly still, it does times to that to 200k. So 140 to 200k. We're going to be using this on a person because I can't use it on a log because like what I said, stuns when a person is perfectly still, right? Things like these moves tend to double hit. And since, you know, a log is standing still, you're going to be hearing the thing I'm talking about. Um, invite them and basically what I'm going to be showing is first the base damage of Ember Rising. You could do things, uh, another thing that you could do if you don't want to use Ember Rising, which I mean I'm saying you guys should because it's an elemental, um, not elemental but normal slot uh, move, is Gumbai. So if I were to use the base move, uh, he's at 300.7k, right? If I were to use this, it does about, what, that's what, 38k? There's chances that by itself it does from 30 to 7k. And once again, this is a 15 second cooldown and by the time you finish it, you get your stamina back. So I'm going to use the stun on a person right here. Uh, you guys saw with the regular move, it does about 32k, right? And sometimes by itself, it will do more. It depends if you're laggy, I think. I think it depends on the ping, but here's just to make it more consistent. So I'm going to hit him with this, then use this. Look at that. You see that? It double hit right there. It double hit right there. That did about, what, 60, 50k? But the thing is, right, I'm not moded It also... It honestly depends on how long the stuns are. That's why I don't use like using Water Prison because the hand signs is a lot um, and the stun is kind of low. So I like using Sand Coffin or Atomic Box. I'm going to do this mode just to show how OP it is. Um, you guys can see right here, I have my stats. So I'm going to hit him with the Sand Coffin. Hit him with like that. I'm waiting for him to go on the top and then hit him with this. You guys saw right there. Look at that, 210. That is about 90k. But the thing is... You could do other moves as well because if you know these type of stuns they don't get pushed up because of um that's just how the stun goes so that's why what i like to do with this is also using other damaging moves so for example what i'm gonna be doing here is water prison because you know i'll just use it for the one time so what i'm gonna be using here is using sand coffin again but what i'm gonna be doing is using a damaging move and then ember rising so i'm gonna hit him with this hit him with this and then hit him with this boom 152.5 7k well actually 2k 0.2k you guys can see right there that's about 150k damage and that's only using two to three moves and you can actually use it by itself we'll do this again with um water prison but i don't like using water prison i'm gonna use water prison right here boom use this and use this 
dropping that 41k and of course since the stun of water person is lower than sand coffin it does less damage so that's why I like using sand coffin and box atomic box you can actually also use this with uh, obito counter so um hit me when you hear the auto dodge there we go and watch this i'm gonna hit him right there boom you can do it closer but that still does pretty good damage hey that should have been a quick video right there hopefully you guys do enjoy this um i'm probably gonna be making way more videos where i just help you guys out but yeah